Welcome to Learnpedia, the ultimate JE and NEET prep tool currently being used by more than 20,000 aspirants. Let's see if you can answer this important question. If you think you got the answer, post it in the comment section below. To understand the concept behind this question, go ahead and watch this full video. Canal system. The body of a sponge organized in such a manner as to form a complex system of pores and canals. And this system is called canal system or water transport system. There are other synonyms like aquiferous. It is a distinguishing feature of all sponges. The perforation of body surface by numerous pores or apertures for the ingress and egress of water current. So, water enters through these pores called ostia and inside the body, the water current flows through certain spaces and finally leads into sponge seal. Egress or come out through a single aperture called osculum. This is called a canal system. Actually, there are three types of canal systems are found in sponges. First one is the Ascon type. Ascon type is the simplest type of canal system and it is found in asconoid sponges. Examples are Leuco, Solenia and uh, certain e developmental stages of other sponges. So here we will see the flow of water. Here in this diagram you can see the incurrent pores which leads into the spongocele otherwise called atrium through all these pores and finally lead to outside through osculum. Here you can see the body surface is pierced by large number of pores, minute pores called incurrent pores. Incurrent pores are also called ostia and these pores are intracellular pores present in the porocytes. These are porocytes and uh, they are present radially in the mesenchyme. Mesenchyme is the middle layer. It is a gelatinous non-living layer and this directly opens into the spongocele. And uh, the spongocele is a single large space or central cavity in the sponge and it is lined by coenocytes and the beating action of the flagella of coenocytes they bring about water into the spongocele. So the flow of water from outside to inside is maintained and the rate of water flow is slow because the large spongocele contains much water which cannot push out radially through a single opening called osculum. So, the course taken by water current in the body of sponge may be shown as under an asconoid type. Water from exterior through ostia enters into the spongocele and through osculum it leads to exterior outside. So, it is a, the simplest type of canal system. Second type, it is more complex than Ascon type and it is found in sponges like Sycon. Previously, it is known as Skypha and also found in Grantia. Generally, this, uh, the life history of Sycon, Asconoid pattern is found in development stage. Later, it is converted into the Sycon pattern. So the body wall of body wall of cyconoid sponges includes two types of canals. They are 
in current canals here i can show you in current canals and radial canals so this one is the radial canal and you can see both canals whether it is in current or radial each end blindly into the spongocene and they are interconnected by small pores called prosopines some people say it is a type of intercellular space and the incurrent canals are lined by phenacocytes whereas radial canals are lined by cyanocytes and these canals they open into a central cavity called spongocene and the openings of radial canal into the spongocene is called internal ostea they are also called apopines and finally opens to outside through osculum as in the case of the ascon type to simplify this during the development of cycon or scypha it contain ascon type later the infolding of body wall will result the formation of blind tubes that invade into spongocene and now this become more complex and water has to move all the way through incurrent canals prosopyles then radial canals and through apopyle they lead into the spongocene and water leave the sponge through osculum so the course of water current may be represented as given below the course of water current may be represented as given below in cyclonic type of canal system water from exterior enters through ostea into the incurrent canal here you can see incurrent canal and this one is the ostea from there water through prosopyle and this one is the prosopyle will reach the radial canal this is the radial canal from here water through apopyle it reach the spongocene and through osculum a single opening on the top of the sponge it leads to exterior leucantite it is the most complex type of canal system and it is generally found in spongilla which is a fresh water sponge so in the case of leucantite the radial symmetry is lost and canal system become irregular and flagellated chambers become small and spherical and they are lined by color cells here in the larval form you can observe here ragon larva where water from ostea similar is ostium leads into the apopyle this opening is apopyle and finally leads into spongocene and uh, these chambers are called flagellated chambers and uh, water leaves the body through a single opening called osculum in this diagram you can see water from the dermal pores or ostea enters into the incurrent canals and from there they enter into the flagellated chambers and from here they reach the excurrent canals and uh, leaves through osculum generally there are several outlets ascula in the case of leucon type so probably this is the course of ragon type of canal system in larva is modified into leucon type by further infolding of the body wall of spongilla so the course taken by water is as follows in leuconite type water from exterior enters through several dermal pores or ostea into the incurrent canals through the prosopyles they reach the flagellated chambers 
and from the flagellated chambers through apopiles they can reach the excrement canals through ascula water leaves exterior here you can see that all the three types including the canal system in sponges the series of diagram shows probably it is not an evolutionary trend a canal system is a method of increasing the body size canal system becomes complex in order to increase in the size of sponges but it has no evolutionary except for increase in size and water flows slowly and the efficiency of color cells to ingest the food increases and here slowly the spongocele is becoming reduced and in leucontide spongocele is absent and it is occupied by several excrement canals so you can see here spacious spongocele here the spongocele is reduced and here it is totally absent and replaced by excrement canals so probably ragon type with a very simple canal system with a central spongocele and ostia and flagellated chambers may be a forerunner of mother of all types of leucon type of canal systems generally in demospongia leucon type of canal system is also called ragon type because it is derived from a ragon stage or ragon larva hey there hope you understood the concept here's the solution to the question asked at the beginning you can check now found this video useful hit the like and share icons to enjoy more such videos Learnpedia's JEE and NEET prep tools contain more than 4000 videos and over 20000 questions. These can be accessed online on our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also experience a free demo of our product before buying.